Uh, okay, there's layers. <gasps> what? She did, the, she did the thing. She did the bento thing. More! Lunch break! <laughs> we are back with another lunch break. With no food. Mm. Why don't we have food, Jen? Today we are doing another co-workers decide our lunch, but today, because it's back to school season, mm -hmm. we are choosing each other's school lunches, like as if we were each other's parents. Yes. And, and we don't know who our parent was, uh -huh. kind of like last time, Secret Santa. But this is really a response because yeah. you guys really liked um, the last time we did a, a co-workers decide kind of thing. So thanks for the response and you know, we listened to you and we're going to do it again. Yeah, and we all vlogged it too, so make sure to check out that other video to see the process. We all got $10 budget. Yeah. We had to prepare a lunch of some sorts, could be cooked or bought, and we had to write a note to it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a very American yeah. thing. I never got notes. I never got Same. notes. But it's like the classic uh -huh. packed lunch, you know? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do in the movies. The lunch yeah, that yeah. we never got. Uh, but like to have the, the most American, you know, like experience, like to have the bag lunch with a note, like this might be what we bring to our our kids in the future, you know? Yeah. So we're going to present the lunch that we made to our yes. child. So normally I would have used like the you know, brown paper bag. None of you guys did the brown bag. Okay, so th this is classic, but you know, we are in an age of sustainability. So I think the reusable bag makes sense. The way this is going to work is someone's going to be a parent and a child, yes. right? So I mean, um, all parents were children that's true. at one point. Good insight. So right now we are all parents. Yes. Uh, these are the lunches that we made for our children which was assigned to us. Go! Go. <laughs> I knew Wait, it! Wait, me? Oh! oh. oh. Wow, look at this artwork. Benson, Wait, you're the newest here? person to okay. this. So yes. I opened my lunch first. Wes was heating this up. It's gonna be a hot lunch. If you eat it quickly. Yeah. And it's in, a, it's in a base gray bag. Wow, your lunch is so cool. Uh, I made sure that his lunch bag coordinated with his outfit today. It's, I'm gonna go with the easiest thing to pull out first, which is a bottle of some sort. It's a water bottle! Whoa! Whoa. What does it say? Supplemental H2O to go. Whoa, it has a logo on yep. it? Okay. Okay, oh, more okay. notes! He overachieved two notes! Upon finishing your meal, place all items in yellow bag and <laughs> return home for proper reuse slash recycle. <laughs> Is your dad a robot? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to worry about trashing anything, just bring it all back. So your notes were just instructions? <laughs> Not like it's a Pocari sweat. I've never had this before. Oh, where'd you get I that? I see you drink this all the time. Do not throw away this can. Please return it in good <laughs> slash new condition. Okay. Ooh, whoa. Whoa! whoa. For maximum enjoyment, use Miss Lynn's microwave toaster to heat these up. Oh, Miss Lynn the teacher? The teacher. <laughs> oh, Miss Lynn the teacher. Oh, you don't from, talk to her. Happy. Beware of your friend Taylor. He might want your dumplings. He may have one dumpling at most. Ooh, <laughs> wow, dumplings! Just, your dad knows me so well. Watermelon. A reminder to stay cool and sweet. Hey, just that's... like this H2O melon. No, wait, what is it? <laughs> these nuts. I got, I got daddy's these nuts. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Honey almonds. I love nuts. And then utensils. Thanks. You're welcome. The best son. Benson. You. Your dad, yeah, gives a lot of instructions. <laughs> <laughs> you got like 10 dumplings. That's a lot. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I no, Watch out for Taylor. I'm just pointing out. It's a, a lot. Melon, that's a lot too. Yeah. It's made to share. So that's my bag for okay. Jen. It's not as many items. It's so heavy. Dun, da, da. Oh my god! Hey! That was supposed to be the oh last thing you take out. <laughs> she knows what to go for right away. Saw. Your dad works at Seven Leaves? <laughs> Kids drink boba? That's not fair. I didn't drink it back in the day, but I'll take it. Wow. I remember you mentioned you didn't really drink boba in like high school. Yeah. But you discovered it in college. college. College is still school. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Oh, look Whoa. at this college kid. Fried rice. Fried rice. Whoa. Actually, this is what I would initially eat during lunch. Okay, it's in a glass container. <gasps> That's really good. Still warm. Tupperware. And grapes! Hey. I oh. eat this too. <laughs> a note. Dear Jen, with an N or M, <laughs> we are very proud of you. You will <laughs> Read it out loud. <laughs> Keep reading. What did your parents say? <laughs> you will bring honor to us all. <laughs> Have a good day at school, oh, and Dad. Nice. Aww. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It, it's spam fried rice. I know you don't like sandwiches, and as a kid, 
If I had lunch, I would probably make myself a sandwich. I feel like I've seen you eat fried rice here before. Yes. So then I thought, you know, nobody turns down fried no, rice. That is a really good choice. Yeah. Uh, and you know, when you make fried rice, you have to make a lot, so I have a, I have a lot more left. <laughs> okay. This is true. Yes. All right, well, I guess it's my turn. Do you guys want to see what my mom got me? <laughs> oh, cool. Green tea. Oh, whoa! whoa. Yeah. You Dude, know. that's so cool, man. Whoa! Oh, and a receipt! Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna return this. What's inside? Oh. oh! It's like a little bento. This is so cute. Your mom can draw. My mom drew a little Pikachu. You aight, uh, mom. <laughs> She's so hip. Is that enough affection for you, Taylor? Okay, open. I know what she really it. means. Uh, okay, there's layers. <gasps> what? She did, the, she did the thing. She did the bento thing. Oh, the bento thing. The pandas with oh seaweed with, as the details. That was a little flag that says, yay. Yo, your mom's so extra. Oh, there's the, oh, the octopus hot dog thing with the um, little tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's like one of the like the influencer moms. She's probably like part of the PTA, huh? Did you do baloney as stars? Oh. What? Is this baloney? My. How did you even get that? Is there like a Daiso man? Oh, Daiso. My mom loves Daiso. You're gonna be full off that? No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's trying to get me to lose weight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> subtle hints. Very subtle. Thanks, mom. All right, as as kid Wes, I'm gonna I'm gonna change. Into my kid version. Wow, how do you top that? All oh, right. I hope you like it, Wes. Wes lunch. Look at this. I like this. Uh, you got some uh, cross hatching uh, shading. Very good attention to lighting. I'm talking like a parent. I'm a kid now. Whoa, Dad, thanks. Wow. Pringles, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and none of them are crushed. This is amazing. Whoa. Wow, they're all. That is actually impressive. Thanks, Dad. Mr. Chan. Oh. More snacks. Wow! Pocky. My favorite flavor of Pocky too. Pocky? <laughs> Gotta stay healthy. Pre-cut apples. Oh. With the yeah. skin removed. How did he know? Cal Pico. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a feast. Is there... Thanks, Dad. <gasps> and look, we even use the same <laughs> containers. <gasps> what? Oh. Dino nuggets, rice, a lime, and decorations. <laughs> Wow, did you get a- Oh, it's a sign. Yeah. It's a little scenery. Did you, you got a scene. It's the a trees. scene. trees. This is the um, <laughs> Triassic period, I believe. It's an Allosaurus and a Triceratops. Thanks, Dad. You know my favorite things. Did you take a class from Miss um, Lay? Because You this are my side. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> wow, okay. There's there's a note. Oh, I was supposed to read this first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You think I'm extra? Look at this. <laughs> Dear Wesley, I hope you have the most wonderful day at school. He said full. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Make lots of friends, mm -hmm. pay attention in class, and feel free to share your food. I feel so bad, I told him not to share with you. <laughs> Just make sure you save the container. Love, Papa Chan. You both said the same thing, um, to save the container. Save the container. You know what, Benson, you can, you can share with Taylor. All right. I'm crying. Oh, they're, lo they're not even just pandas. There's like stuff in it. Oh, uh, salmon. Whoa. Salmon inside. Oh, wow. I like how we said like all American, but this is pretty Asian. This is Asian. And I like that we were proud to give our, our kids Asian lunches, you know? So how does this compare to your school lunches back when you were growing up? I feel like for the most part, like I usually only ate the cafeteria food. The, the cardboard pizza, the, the Salisbury steak. My high school had like a cup of noodle station. Mm, a couple of noodles. Nice. People did that all the time. It was cheaper. This was a, definitely like an elementary school type of lunch. I think I would have ate fried rice. My mom would have definitely gave me like Pocky or Yan Yan. Oh. That's it. Or a juice box. Mm. I think we're all missing that. So you guys always brought lunch from home or did you like always buy? Usually I had leftovers of whatever dinner was. Actually, this was very much my lunch. Mm. Just this part. I never got this other stuff. It wasn't even a container. It was just a pouch, a foil pouch of leftover dumplings. And that was like a, a good standard lunch. But other days when there was a rush, it would just be like, here's maybe um, four bucks, just get a burger or something at school. So did you guys ever, like a lot of these uh, lunches actually required heating up. Did you guys ever heat up your food? Because mm -hmm. I think we cheated a little bit today. That's why I gave you that note, which is like, use Miss Lynn's microwave. But in high school, middle school, I feel like if you were only friends with a teacher yeah. and you're brave enough to like ask them, yeah. then I think you would have that. But otherwise, just be cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bought lunch a lot in high school at cafeterias. 
but elementary school was packed lunch. Mm-hmm. I got a Pringles in in a bag, and usually they were crushed. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Which was always still in great. A bag. You ever like open a bag of bag of chips, and then you know there's always the friend. Can I have a chip? Mm. Can I have a chip? That was me. Hey, no one brought uh, fruit snacks. Oh, so fruit snacks oh, were like candy. the hot item. Fruit by the foot. Yeah. And Gushers. Especially in elementary school, it was like anyone that got fruit snacks, they were cool. I always was jealous of those kids. Did you guys ever have like off campus passes? No. Mm. Well, you can only go off campus, yeah, if you're like a junior or senior. Mm. I would go to like Carl's Jr. and get like the dollar spicy chicken sandwich. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like a Mexican restaurant and get like um, a dollar bean and rice burrito. Mm. Actually, on that note, when I was in eighth grade, this is a humble brag, I tested to a higher math class. So in eighth grade, there's nowhere else to go but high school. So as eighth graders, I went to high school for math. We, we had a little bit of break in between when we, we would leave at lunch. So we'd pick up Burger King and then go to high school for our, our class. So the high school was like, who are these kids walking up with yeah. offers? We ate like outside campus because we were mm. scared of the oh. high schoolers, to be honest. Did, did people ever make fun of your lunches? I never had that actually. I don't think me either. It's such a, a known story within the Asian American mm-hmm. experience. Like fresh off the boat and stuff. like The noodles, oh, right? So stinky. I, had, I got made fun of a little bit because I would have like dumplings actually but they put it in the, the thermos to keep it warm. Mm. But it uh, generated to the heat's there. You it kind of got it stinky over. when you open up the <laughs> thermos. So my friends would be like, oh, what is that? It do smells. You that? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, do you want one? No. And then sometimes they'll be like, oh, what do you have, rice for lunch? And I actually do uh, have rice for lunch. Mm. I'd be like, yeah, like, but. Like the Asian <laughs> jokes. Yeah. Oh. But I was jealous of the PB&J because everyone had PB&J. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Even they get the ones that have like the puff ones that are. Oh, the Uncrustables? Uncrustables. The Uncrustables. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to touch them. Yeah. <laughs> They look so soft and, and like squishy. Yeah. Pillows. I think my mom actually made a lot of sandwiches back then, but like more Asian type ones. Like, do you know like the pork rolls that's wrapped in the banana leaf? That's like pork roll and like you cut it up and so they're like slices. So she would put that in with like butter, but like the Vietnamese was basically a bun mi mm. yeah. with white bread. Yes, she would cut off the crust. But I ate that for lunch a lot, mm. but that was the only sandwich I would eat. But no, no one made fun of you. No, no I no think just, I had a lot of Asian friends. I think uh-huh. it was pretty diverse school. I actually had a lot of sandwiches. Um, my parents made me sandwiches more than this. This was only if my mom made dumplings for an event for some kind of occasion. But usually it was sandwiches. If I was lucky, there would be a pickle in it. It kind of made the sandwich elevated in lucky? a way. The, the bad thing is the pickle would make the sandwich soggy. And mm. this was a constant problem that I had to deal with. First world problems. That's why I didn't like sandwiches in my lunch either. They would get soggy. They are cold sandwiches and I didn't... <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> no, no you, you get wet. Yeah, yeah you get wet. I mean, meat water is a real problem. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, my parents don't watch lunch break, but thank you. It's funny on the parents' side, you don't think about that as much. Like, would my kid be bullied? You just think like, yeah. this will much nourish them. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he shows a lot, like how we will be as parents. It does. Is this- I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> well, is this accurate to what you would do for your actual kid? Hmm. Uh, that's pretty accurate for me, I think. I, I'd probably go the sandwich route. I would ask them what they want, but they probably wouldn't really tell me. Fried rice is a good route. Yeah. I think I would be a lunchables person. <laughs> For, it, conven- it for convenience, yeah, like whatever is easy. How long did that take you? I think it was like under an hour. I would do that for like, yeah, first day of school type mm-hmm. thing, like making you feel comfortable or like special days, like Halloween. Like I think that'd be fun, like creative. Respect to all the parents out there that make yes. lunch every day yeah. for your kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. so much respect. All right, we should probably get back to class. Yeah, you know, I, I think, think that was the bell. bell. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, lunch break's over. Yeah, but let us know what lunch you guys bring for school. And even all you international fans, I know you guys have different different lunches as well. Yeah, and Taylor, where did that, where'd you get that cool hoodie, huh? Oh, I got it at wongfustore.com. Oh, My mom whoa. got it for wow. me. Wow. Yeah. I got this at wongfustore.com. Your parents are so cool. Oh. Check out wongfustore.com. We got new designs coming up and stuff on sale too. Don't forget to subscribe. Lunch breaks come out every Thursday. And we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Did you guys do the homework?